Say we're given a linear programming problem in standard form. The problem data as follows. A is an M by N matrix. The rank of A is M, that means A has full row rank. B is an M vector and C is an N vector. The problem we're looking at is minimize C transpose X subject to AX equal to B, X at least zero. If we are given a basic feasible solution, say X star, determined by the basis B, when is it an optimal solution? And we'll simplify our discussion a bit by assuming that all the entries indexed by B are positive. Remember that in a basic feasible solution, only the variables indexed by elements of B can be non-zero. The rest have to be zero. Okay, so what this is saying is every possible variable that is allowed to be non-zero is non-zero. Now the case when some of these variables indexed by B could be zero will be considered later. But let's see what we can do here. So when is X star an optimal solution? Well, we are going to make use of complementary slackness. And for that, let's write down the dual problem. So the dual problem looks like this. It's just maximize Y transpose B and Y transpose times AJ is less than equal to CJ for all J from one up to N. Remember that AJ is the J column of a. So, using complementary slackness, we know that x star is optimal if and only if there exists a y star feasible to the dual such that x star and y star satisfy the complementary snackness conditions. Now, the complementary snackness conditions applied to x star and y star will tell us that the constraints in the dual corresponding to the basic variables will have to hold with equality at y star, right? Because each basic variable is non-zero, so the corresponding constraint has to be satisfied with equality. Okay, so since xj star is bigger than zero for all j in b y star transpose aj must be equal to cj if y star satisfy the cs conditions with X star. So there are m equations here. Okay, so let's write, let's rewrite this system in more compact form. So this system here can be rewritten as y star transpose times a b equal to c b transpose. All right. So c sub b is the vector formed from C by taking only the components indexed by elements in B. Now, A sub B is a square matrix and it's invertible because B is a basis. So that means we can solve for Y star transpose. And it's going to be this. And if you take transpose of both sides, we get a unique solution for y star. Now, when is x star optimal? Well, this y star satisfy complementary slackness with x star. So in order for x star to be optimal, we need this y star to be feasible for the dual. And so, as long as y star satisfy all the inequalities in D, then x star will be optimal. And if not, then we know that x star cannot be optimal because the only solution that satisfies complementary slackness with x star is this. So we have no choice. And if that choice doesn't give us a feasible solution, then x star couldn't have been optimal. All right. Hence, x star is optimal to p if and only if 
why star is feasible to D and that is true this is true if and only if well we don't really need to check the constraints indexed by elements of B because well they are already going to be satisfied with equality the only inequalities that we need to check are these so we need these to hold so to summarize in order to determine whether x star is optimal to p, where x star is a basic feasible solution whose basic variables are all positive, first you solve for y star by computing this, and then you plug in to these inequalities and check. If all these inequalities are satisfied, then you know that x star is optimal. Otherwise, x star is not optimal. We'll find a way to handle the case when not all basic variables are positive in a later video.